of the busiest shopping weekend of the year, most people will head to Destiny USA, not scared away by the gang shooting at Black Friday, but others are still skipping a trip to the mall. Tonight, more of Andrew Donovan's exclusive interview with a mall's owner who claims Destiny USA already has a police substation. After his meeting about mall security with the mayor, police chief, and district attorney, Pyramid CEO Steve Conjol agreed to answer our questions. But are you willing to go the next step and put a public police station in the mall? Uh, well, there has been a, a substation at Destiny for over 20 years. It's there. It's in the uh, it's in the mall today. It's actively used today. So there has been a substation at the mall for quite some time. Can we see it? Uh, you know, let, let me talk to, you know, the Syracuse PD and our own PD, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's there and it has been doing its job for a long, long time. The first we've ever heard that claim after years of debating the need for a substation in the mall. The difference might come down to the definition. Police officers have a workspace in the basement of the mall for paperwork or to detain suspects, but it isn't open to the public. Substation more often refers to a labeled storefront open to the public, like the Ontario County Sheriff's Office we toured at Eastview Mall in Rochester. Mayor Ben Walsh did ask Conjol about that kind of substation. I raised it. Um, we talked about it. Um, no decisions were made. Uh, there was no firm no's or yeses for that matter. Uh, so it continues to be among many options that we're exploring to ensure that the mall is safe. Pyramid owns three malls with substations that are listed on that mall's directory online. Sangertown Square in New Hartford, Crossgates outside of Albany, and Poughkeepsie Galleria. Destiny USA's website has no such reference. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Andrew's entire interview with the Pyramid CEO is posted at localSYR.com.